John McCain is caught on film palling around with terrorists, even while the McCain paling campaign attempts to turn the page against a disastrous economic crisis and close ties to Bush by accusing Barack Obama of shady associations. But now, McCain has been caught on film with unrepentant terrorists, and not the ones we already know about. We already know about McCain and G. Gordon Liddy, a longtime friend known for the Watergate break-in, plotting murders, and the bombing of the Brookings Institution. McCain and Liddy, friends for years, are friends today. And we already know a lot, but are still learning about hand-picked vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin, who supports the anti-American Alaska Independence Party, a separatist movement filled with members that hate America, and Palin's husband is a member. That's the opposite of country first. We pay good money for Alaska, and we plan to keep it. Thank you very much. So already we know about McCain's toxic stew of subversive friends, Liddy and Palin, and her hubby, the air quote, first dude, un air quote, but what about McCain's new terrorist pals? It's certainly not Bill Ayers. Some terrorist he is. After he turned himself into authorities in 1980, the charges were dropped. And not low-renter, phony, newbie pal Joe the Plumber, who barged in and took over the presidential campaign. A major distraction. But Joe failed to register and can't even vote. No, John McCain is hanging with yet another shady bunch of terrorist pals. They're East Coast elitist and they're anti-everything we care about. And they have a leader, Barack Obama. America we should be fearful of a John McCain presidency. Just watch and listen at how they banter and cavort about. After all, it began so long ago with a heralded arrival of a man known to Oprah Winfrey as the one. <laughs> Being a friend and colleague of Barack, I just called him that one. <laughs> he... He doesn't mind at all. In fact, he even has a pet name for me, George Bush. John McCain is sinister for calling out Barack Obama during the day, then palling around with him at night. By doing so, he takes artifice and cynicism to new depths. For McCain, it must be like looking in a mirror at himself, looking in a mirror at himself. And I'm scared, America. Scared for America.